All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Kroger. I'm gonna go over problems three and four from our graphing problem worksheet. Uh, number one, we're given this equation here, um, f of x is x plus three over x squared minus x minus six, and it's a rational function because it's a fraction. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. If I hit y equals, I'm gonna type this in. If you're taking calculus next year, you're gonna wanna get one of these graphing calculators. Um, let's see what this looks like. Well. And there it is. We have asymptotes, vertical, and horizontal, and we have curves in between. So that's what we're trying to come up with, and that's what we came up with here. So we're going to look at the key parts so we can graph this. So that's our goal is to get this on paper. Um, part one, we are going to do the intercepts. If I plug in zero, I get a negative one-half for an output. So that's an intercept right there. Um, and if I want to find the y x-intercept, I plug in zero for y, so I put a zero there for y. Cross, multiply, and divide. And what you'll always see is the denominator goes away. When I cross multiply, the denominator goes away. So now I just have x plus 3 is 0. So there's a x intercept. So I have that point and that point. And now I start looking for asymptotes. And if the bottom is 0 in this case, we have an asymptote. So we have an asymptote for this one and this one here. And I went ahead and drew those. This is 3 and this is negative 2. All right, and now we're going to look for horizontal asymptotes. Well, that happens when we're not plugging in zero, but we're plugging it in infinity. And we can't plug in infinity here, so what we do is we simplify it. And simplification can be, let's just look at the front end. So the front end of this is x over x minus x over 2, which is 1 over x simplified. And now I can plug in infinity because I know 1 divided by infinity, if it's a limit, is 0. So now I have this horizontal asymptote here. And the rest is just plugging in points. And if, you, if you're if you not sure what's going on here, we have all of these boxes, box 1, box 2, box 3, and there's going to be a curve somewhere in there. And sometimes it curves this way, sometimes it curves like this, sometimes it curves like this. And notice this one goes down below it and comes back up, but you just have to find the curve. And all you got to do is plug in points. Um, these ones are rather tough. I use my calculator here. If you have these kind of calculators, um, it is easy. Um, let me show you here. Let's start this over. If you have a calculator here, it is easy. When you do get these calculators, I can just plug in 2, and it will give me the output. I can plug in 4, and it will give me the output. 6, 1, negative 2.01, negative 6. And I can plug in as many points as I want to, and it will give me the output. So... When you do have a chance to get one of these, um, they will be very helpful. The math that we do won't require them in trig, but in calculus it will help you. So divide up your sections and then plug in points to figure out where the curve goes. Um, let's see what the next one looks like. Um, we have in the numerator 3x minus 3 and the denominator x minus 2. And now we can go ahead and graph that. And there we go. And again, we have a horizontal asymptote, a vertical asymptote, and two curves. A little bit simpler on this one. All right, if I plug in 0, well, if I input 0, I output 3 halves. Um, 0 for y. I put 0 on the y side. And remember, when you cross multiply, the denominator is going to go away. So I just take 0 is equal to the numerator. And you always want to factor these. I forgot to say that over here, but you want to factor them here. And then there we have two points. So we have 0, 3 halves. We have 1, 0. This is the x-intercept. That's the y-intercept. Vertical asymptotes. Denominator set to 0. Horizontal asymptotes. Plug in infinity. Well, you can't plug infinity into this. So we simplify it down. And we simplify it down further to 3. Now there's nothing left to plug in infinity to. So that's an asymptote. Horizontal at y equals 3. This graph is never going to be 3, because no matter what you do, you're still a little... This part right here is 3. No matter what you do, you're still a little bit off of 3. So there's my two asymptotes. There are some points. I went ahead and found some other points. Any points you want to, plug them into the equation, do the math, get some other points, and you'll have a picture of what it does. But there's always... It is a function, so if something's happening down here, nothing's happening up here and if something's happening here nothing's happening here because every input only has one output 
So the basic game plan is divide up the graph with the asymptotes and then put your curves in there. And the way you get the curves, make some points. All right, hope this helps with your work.